Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Osaka Prefecture. I am in Hirakata City in Nitori Mall. And uh, I am standing outside Friend Mart, which is a part of the Heiwado chain. And today we're gonna go inside a Japanese grocery store and look around and uh, just see what it looks like on the inside. So, uh, of course things are a little different now with the coronavirus, but uh, we'll make the best of it. So here, of course, they've got uh, hand sanitizer and wipes. And you can get a basket here and get a cart here. So let's go inside and look around. So of course here they've got flowers. And of course, just like any regular grocery store, you're going to have the uh, fruits and vegetables here at the beginning. So grapes, tomatoes, cantaloupe, strawberries, oranges, and kiwi. And of course we got onions, potatoes, green peppers. And this area right here is pretty cool. Uh, you got the local area here. So this is Osaka Prefecture. You can see that the uh, the eggplant is raised or grown here in uh, Osaka Prefecture. And this is Hyogo Prefecture. Some other things like the onions, carrots come from there. And then Wakayama Prefecture. Uh, some other things come from there as well. So you can get the local specialties right here. And you can even see the uh, the pictures of the farmers. So they're really doing uh, their best to promote the local farmers. So of course uh, apples, which are probably bigger than apples in the U.S. Maybe pineapples. And uh, the watermelon is coming into uh, season. So here you can see some watermelon. Some of the prices here, it's uh, just about $2 for the small piece, about $4 for this big piece. Of course, bananas. Bananas are about a dollar fifty. Hundred and fifty eight yen, tomatoes. And then uh, actually in Japan, there's a really wide variety of mushrooms. So this is uh, one of the two mushroom sections here. So many different kinds of mushrooms. And then they have okra. So this would be the same kind of okra that you would find in uh, the south in the U.S. So you can make fried okra if you have the right ingredients. And here's the other uh, mushroom section here. Lots of different types. This is called anoki in Japanese. White mushrooms. Yeah, white mushrooms. Many different kinds of mushrooms here in Japan. And then, of course, uh, the daikon. Very famous here in Japan. Yeah, more okra here. So that'd be about a uh, dollar thirty for one package of uh, four pieces of okra 
eggplant. This is what they call pumpkin or kabocha in Japanese. It's really common. This is a lotus root. Sweet corn, more mushrooms and onions. Sweet potatoes. And then this is one of my favorites here. This is called gobo in Japanese. In English, it's uh, the great burdock. It's a, uh, it's a root vegetable people enjoy here in Japan. Of course, they got eggs here. So it's about $2 for a dozen eggs. And uh, this is uh, the dumplings, right? Yeah. Kind of Chinese dumplings, they're called uh, gyoza. Gyoza in Japanese, but uh, here, different types. And then kimchi, the Korean uh, spicy cabbage. Then lots of pickles, which are a really big part of uh, Japanese cuisine here. Many different colors and types. Yeah. It goes with rice. And then the uh, plum. Yeah, the plums. This is the uh, tofu section. different types of uh, tofu. This is fried. And then this is the noodle section here. So uh, this is the udon, the thick udon noodles. Soba, the buckwheat noodles. Then they have uh, ramen, which would be here. Many different types of noodles, including uh, pasta. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. If you watch the uh, the pink moss video, this is uh, from that same place. Of course, uh, natto, which is fermented uh, fish eggs, right? No. <laughs> Beans, fermented beans. Yeah. So a lot of uh, people don't like it. <laughs> Some people like it. It has a really, really strong smell. Of course, the uh, the cheese and butter section. And now we're coming into the fish section. So this is eel. The clams, shellfish. So this is the sashimi section. You can see they're uh, 
lowering the price as it gets later in the night the price will get cheaper and cheaper so it's about 270 for that So lots of fish here, which is probably very fresh. Mm -hmm. Caught this morning, maybe. There's shrimp. <laughs> From Indonesia, okay. Vietnam, Vietnamese shrimp. And of course, uh, octopus. Bonito fish. Yeah. And then of course sushi. The main thing in Japan maybe. So uh, just about $12 for this package. $10. And these prices will go down too. As you can see this price has already been marked down. And now we're getting into the meat section here. So this is about $48 for this package. And uh, one of the things in Japan you'll always see kind of where it's from. So the local people really take a lot of pride in uh, where it's made. So this is the Omi Gyu, uh, Omi beef, which is up near uh, Shiga Prefecture, near Lake Biwa. This is $55 here. But the, the meat here is very thinly sliced. It's really noisy in here. <laughs> so this is kind of the meat that you can buy uh, to do your own barbecue at home. And of course, in Japanese, it's called yakiniku. And so uh, you can go to a restaurant and have this, or you can buy your own grill and cook it yourself at home. So you can see uh, about $25 for this. We're getting into the pork section. Again, you can see uh, this is from uh, Kagoshima Prefecture, and they're really famous for their uh, black pork. And then here, this is a uh, chicken, the chicken section. This is about uh, just under ten dollars for this. And then here, this would be uh, yakitori, right? So you can put this on a grill and cook it as well. This is about seven dollars for these. Of course, uh, tevasaki, which is uh, chicken wings. And then mayonnaise, Japanese mayonnaise. <laughs> you can use mayonnaise on everything in Japanese food. So uh, you can see this is a huge section. And this is probably the most famous brand here. It's called Kewpie. Yeah, the salt and sugar. And then the miso soup here. They have so many different varieties of miso. Of course, the instant miso, just add water here. 
and then uh, seaweed. Here, this is the seaweed. Yeah, and this is for sushi here. And then this is the uh, sauce section, and this is the sauce for uh, yakiniku. So in Japanese it's called tare here. And uh, lots of different kinds of sauce. And then this is for okonomiyaki, which is the Osaka specialty. Kind of like a pancake. Yeah, yakiniku here, this uh, sauce. It's kind of a sweet sauce. It goes really well with the, the meat. And then all the salad dressings here. This company is super famous. It's the same one that made the uh, the mayonnaise kewpie. But they have almost every salad dressing you can imagine. And then over here the soy sauce. Lots of different kinds of soy sauce. Ponzu. And then, uh, is this for nabe? Yeah, this is for nabe, which would kind of be like a, a winter dish that people enjoy. You got the soup, and then you throw in the, the vegetables and maybe some meat. And with that sauce, and it, uh, it'll keep you warm in the winter time. It's really popular. And of course the instant noodles. Lots of instant noodles. This is a really famous one here, the chicken ramen. It's from Osaka. So lots of instant noodles. The cereal section is right there. And now we get into the green tea section. You can see they even have like a little, uh, small little store here. Green tea. And then of course they have coffee here and actually you can make your own coffee right here on the spot. It's about uh, three dollars for a coffee. Of course they have Starbucks here as well. Starbucks here. The UCC which is a Japanese brand, really popular. Then the, uh, the drink section, lots of uh, different types of drinks. They got vitamin drinks here, tomato juice, orange juice, grape juice, lots of tea and water, sports drinks, Coca-Cola of course, Fanta. Of course they have snacks and of course Kit Kat is really really popular in Japan. This is maple and uh, pudding. 
And then of course, green tea snacks here. Green tea cakes. And an Oreo. Yeah. And the potato chips. <laughs> Yeah, and so uh, this is the Japanese sake section. Get Keikan, which uh, made a video at the uh, at their brewery there. The oldest company in the world. Lots of sake, and this is what? Shochu. This is shochu. It's an alcoholic drink with uh, made from potato, mm -hmm. sometimes rice. And then uh, the cup sake. And uh, this one here, this is Katano Zakura. It's from uh, Katano City, which is just next door to uh, Hirakata. So kind of a local sake there. Of course, uh, Jack Daniels is everywhere. World famous. And then the wine section. And uh, this is different from the U.S., but they serve liquor. They sell liquor here in the grocery store. The wine section here is really big compared to a normal Japanese grocery store. It's usually super small. <laughs> so, yeah. More Jack Daniels, yeah. And uh, this is the Japanese wine section. So the Japanese wine industry has been growing a lot recently. And it's actually won some awards in international competitions. So uh, Japanese wine. So uh, the bacon, and this is really popular in Japan, the, uh, the sausage, mm -hmm. right? This brand is really popular, especially a breakfast uh, sausage. Chicken nuggets. And of course the frozen food, and uh, this is one of the most popular things again, it's the, uh, the gyoza in Japanese, but um, kind of Chinese dumplings. Yeah, so edamame. It's really popular. <laughs> hash browns, okay, hash browns, french fries, yeah, and pasta, fried rice, babimba, karage. Karage is kind of like a chicken nuggets. Lots of curry. Curry is super popular in Japan. And this is the uh, okonomiyaki I was talking about earlier. This is the uh, the specialty of Osaka. Sorry. <laughs> And this is takoyaki. And this is another specialty from Osaka. It's got a uh, octopus on the inside.
ice cream, of course. And uh, of course, green, green tea ice cream. And then, of course, they have a bento, which is a box lunch. And these are really popular. Grocery stores make these every day. And the price goes down the later it gets in the day. Yeah, you can see it's really noisy in Japanese grocery stores. They're always yelling. There's no music. <laughs> Or if there is, you can't hear it. Hamburg steak with rice and vegetables. This is tonkatsu, which is a pork cutlet. And then yakitori, this is a uh, different types of chicken on skewers, it's grilled chicken. You can see the price is starting to come down already. So it's about 7 o'clock right now, 7 o'clock p.m. And then uh, tempura. And here it is, this is the uh, okonomiyaki. And takoyaki. Of course, sushi. And the yogurt section. More cheese. Philadelphia cheese. Kraft Parmesan. And butter. Again from Hokkaido. So uh, Hokkaido is kind of the dairy, the dairy land of uh, Japan. All the milk and dairy products comes from uh, Hokkaido. This is the milk. Okay. And the bakery. As you can see over there, the bakery. Lots of bread. That's what I use. Yeah, this is called Melon Pond, Melon Bread. One of my favorites. <laughs> And uh, I want to show you the slices of bread. So in Japan you'll see something like this. This has only got three slices of bread. But the slices are really, really thick. So here's one with only uh, four slices, but you can see how big it is. So one slice is really, really thick. Yeah, there you can kind of see how thick the slices are. It's five slices there. So Royal Bread, <laughs> one of the main brands. So yeah, lots of bread, dessert bread, sweet bread, and things like that. I'm gonna go outside and finish. Yeah, there's the beer section. And uh, more sake. This is the uh, refrigerated section. Champagne, beer. 
from here. And so here, as you can see, uh, you go to the register, you, s you uh, they check you out, and then you come over here. And then you bag your own groceries together. You bag your own groceries together. And then you're done. You, you take it home and eat it. So anyway, I know this video was a little bit long, but I wanted to show you all the different things, maybe the unique points about a Japanese grocery store. And again, this place is called Friend Mart, which is a part of the Heiwa Do chain here in Japan. So hope you enjoyed this video. Just trying to show you a little bit, a slice of my life here in Japan. Again, I'm in Hidakata City in Osaka Prefecture. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, definitely click like down below. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions or anything, definitely uh, put it down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, click the bell for notifications. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. See ya.